Hello, my name is Sylvie Patrick and it's about 1 p.m. Easter time. Welcome to the session meant to prepare you for tennis. Now, tennis is one of those unique sports that have many component of fitness. So if you don't want to use this session to prepare for tennis, you can definitely get benefits is doing some of those exercise that are going to involve flexibility, balance, speed, agility, power, and muscle em endurance. I'm going to be using today my power plate move, and I'm going to need to reach for a few items. You can have your tennis ball close by. I'm going to start by using our dual sphere, one of our TVP targeted vibration device. But if you have a hard cylinder at home, it can do as well. And if you are on the court, this is definitely a great additional accessory to keep in your bag. We're going, I'm going to show you exercise to do with a light band. But if you're doing this preparation in your country club and you have your power plate or at home before you go play, I'll show you using the strap as well. Like anything, if you have any past injury, please modify it accordingly. You know your body, I leave you in charge. It's always good when you start something new to have been cleared by your healthcare professional. So let's start by bringing that vibration on. Now you see that vibration is going to really stimulate my blood flow. Some of the benefits of using it to prepare is going to be again, reducing of stiffness in the muscle, better range of motion, and then getting warmed up faster and reducing pain. I'm going to start with rolling the lower legs and I address those muscle in particular because they are involved in the impact of your foot to control the impact of your foot. So you can be sitting right there on the floor and just rolling your calf. I'm going to do my right leg showing you what to do on your power plate move from home. And then I'll show you my left leg, what to do on the floor if you're already on the course. Breathe, inhale, exhale, go all along from above the ankle, all the way to the meat calf. If you find a sore spot, hold for a few seconds, big deep breath, and then continue to move on. Now, if I am on the tennis court, having a ball and using the ball to release the calf is a great idea. So I just place the ball, same thing here, along my leg, and I'm just going to roll the ball in the medial part of the calf, just along, and then maybe rotate my leg externally, rolling along as well, and then internally, again, if you find a sore spot, just inhale, excel and hold for a couple of seconds. Now, the second muscle I want to address is that muscle in front of the leg. To be able to find it, flex and point your feet, and then we're gonna place the roller right there. Now remember, my dual sphere already vibrate, so I got that vibration on, and I can do it here along, but I'm gonna be using the power plate here and being in a position right here, and then rolling that front leg. Now notice how I internally rotate my foot to make sure that I am on that muscle and not on the tibia bone. Inhale, exhale, relax, and good. If I am on the floor, I'm gonna do my left leg. I'm just gonna identify where is the zone that I want to release. And then again, I choose one of the vibration level on my dual sphere and then holding it here with both hands i'm just gonna massage along the muscle bringing blood flow right into this area all right last part it's gonna be my forearm so i like to address the forearm muscle again here I'm just going to roll the forearm on the power plate, palm up, bring that opposite hand along to kind of guide better that forearm. Good. 
Perfect. Are we ready? Now that we have done our myofascia release, we are ready to go on for our activation portion of the workout. This take only a few minutes, so it's easy to do before you hit the, the, the course. First exercise, I call that the heel rise matrix. Look, we're gonna be on the power plate and we're gonna get both feet parallel at the same width than my hip. And look, we're gonna do four repetition of rising the heel off the plate. One, two, three, and four. Now look, I'm gonna bring my toes almost against each other, internally rotating my feet and rising from here. Two, three, and four. Opposite, open your feet on the outside, almost heel against heel. One, two, three, and four. Let's do it again. Forward, feet parallel. One, two, three, and four. Toes, internally rotated. One, two, three, and four. And then finally, on the outside, one, two, three, and four. And then after that I've done that activation, I'm just going on the floor, doing a little skip from one foot to the other. So preparing the body to react to that floor as I'm going to accelerate to reach for the ball. And I do that for about 30 seconds. Good. Last hop. Good, we're gonna go for hip opening. So I'm gonna be back on the power plate and then I'm gonna be rolling that hip on the outside right here, in and out. Large circle. If you need a hold on something, hold on the handle. If it is the power plate that has the handle, like my Pro 5 out there, but I kind of want to stimulate you to balance on one leg, preparing the body to do so on the course. Good. Last one. Good. Next exercise, it is time to use in that lateral plan, that hip in a push way. So look at the exercise. I'm both here with my feet and I'm going to keep this leg straight Go to this power plate and push away. So think about what my foot is doing right now. I'm landing on it and it's going on the side. Think about when I'm going to reach for the ball and I have to quickly stop. So this is what we mimic right now. That ability to push on that leg to go into the opposite direction. Keep that leg straight. Two, last one, good, time to switch side. So I'm gonna be right here. Again, I start with this leg straight, lean and push away. Try to keep those feet aligned with the knee. Push away, bring that hip hinge back and push away. Last one, right there, good. And finally, I'm gonna throw my leg forward. Like if I'm kicking high into a ball or into my hand, if you wanna kick right here, same thing. I balance and I threw my leg forward. It is all about activating that opposite hip and leg. Let's do two more. Last one, good. Shifting to that right leg now, I'm throwing my left leg in the air. So you can do all those exercises on the floor, on the course, and having the TVP or using the ball at the beginning, 
do a big difference in those drill. Last one, good. Time to warm up my shoulder, okay? And my triceps. If you have a good functioning triceps, you're gonna minimize injury to the shoulder. So first, let's activate. I'm gonna be right here, holding here the tricep dip, but I'm not dipping. Hold it here. Open your chest, roll your shoulder back, and stay close to the edge of the power plate and disengage your elbow. Breathe. Right here. So we are loading all those fiber, waking up all those fiber. And then finally, I'm gonna be taking the strap, hold it here, and now trying to screw something above my head. So I'll show you on the other arm. My elbow is facing forward, and it's like if I'm trying to do this motion, but I'm caught by the strap. Hold it here, and switch. Left leg forward, right arm up, and pulling towards the, you know, towards the ceiling, engaging right here. Breathe it up. a few seconds and relax. Last one is gonna be my rotator cuff, right? So I'm going to be keeping my elbow close to the body, hold and bringing tension right here on the strap. So I'm gonna untangle the strap, pulling right here opposite to where the attachment is. Hold it here. Keep tension, keep tension. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and I'm switching here. So I'm pulling now externally rotation, so I'm going to go that way, trying to pull my elbow close to my body. And I'm, you believe that I'm doing it static, but think about what's going on right now. The vibration is creating micro pool and I'm resisting that micro pool. So a lot of activation right here. Good. Switching side. So now I'll go, I'm showing you back. I'm going to pull that arm this way. And then I'll do the same using that arm going that way now. And once I have done those exercises, I'm pretty much warmed up, ready to hit the course. Now what's happening if you do not have your power plate before you hit the course and you are on the course? I am still doing my release on my calf and I'm gonna maybe add one more to the T-spine. You can see here the dual stair is made to have the groove of your spine here. So I'm engaging the vibration and then here placing it in my meat back, I'm gonna lift and roll in the center here. And then I'm gonna do exercise, same that I did on the power plate where I'm going to do my little calf rise in different direction and then my skip, right? And finally, those hip opening exercise followed by lateral and push away, right? And then I'm going for my shoulder warm up. You can warm up the shoulder using a band that you keep in your bag and doing all those motion of external rotation, right? And then even bringing it out together. Those are great exercises to do before you hit the course. So in a nutshell, because it's such a demanding sport, it's absolutely important that you warm up before you hit the course. And then using vibration has benefits in terms of loosening up the muscle tightness, bringing a better range of motion, 
reducing pain because we're increasing blood flow. I hope you enjoyed this movement preparation. Stay tuned for Thursday when I'm going to show you great drill to be able to recover faster and prevent common injury. I see you then on Thursday at 1 p.m. Have a great day.